Oh, yeah, we could also talk about how people are still crying about an easy mode. I love that one. Yeah, I thought that was weird. People are still crying about easy mode? Yeah, they're still crying about it. I don't know why. It was like... It, it was a big discussion, and I was confused as to why it was even still. Like, this game is a known game to make you upset, right? Like, to be difficult. Yeah. That's its whole premise. Right? That's like the basis of the game. That's the foundation of why the game became popular. So you being like, ah, man, we need an easy mode. is like, do we need an easy mode? Or do you just... Are you just mm. a little baby? You know... I'm gonna. I'm on the fence about. I saw this, a good actually. argument though. One for disabled, like yeah, to get accessibility. It, to make it accessible for yeah, yeah accessible yeah. for disabled people. I don't but. think I could. Uh, I mean, okay. So I saw several posts about this, about how people believe video games are supposed to be fun and not stressful and stuff like that. Cool. Okay, I understand that part. They're supposed to be fun, entertainment, blah blah blah, whatever. So in that regard, yeah, an easy mode would be dope. So that way I can actually play the game, enjoy the game, because this is exactly why I don't really play the Souls games. Uh, because they're extremely, well, for three main reasons for me. Uh, they're broken, disguised as difficult, um, when functionality-wise, they're just like, you know, this character's clipping through walls and random fucking hitboxes, and the game is just really fucking fuddy-duddy. I fact would agree that with that in the beginning few games oh yeah yeah, yeah. Those, those are the games that other, i played the, the previous games that like i think bloodborne three and and onward on. are polished are yeah. pretty polished yeah 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 so three bloodborne uh sekiro, sekiro stuff like that yep. yeah, yeah yeah those ones demon souls remake demon souls remake well i don't know about that one so i didn't play that um oh, yeah. so that was that was a huge reason why i stopped i just stopped fucking with those games i don't like the way they deliver the story in those games it's just a lot of like text blocks and stuff like that um, people have gotten on me, like, even on TikTok, like, when I was talking about this, I made, like, a video on it, um, and people were saying, like, well, if you can't follow the story, then you're probably st too stupid to understand what's going on anyway, and I was like, all right, bro, I thought I was just trying I, to enjoy a I, fucking video Honestly, game. I play those games, and it's not, like, you have to go to outside sources to get your information for yeah, your story. I'm, for the I'm most cool. part. That shit's not... So, that's just not fun. I mean, granted, it's really great for the creators that make the content, right? Like, I really true, like true, the creators yeah. who make the content, but it's not, like, easily accessible for the most part. I mean, granted, I think the first one was pretty... You could follow it, but it was still weird. Right, right. And then uh, the third reason is, you know, just because they weren't accessible for me to play um, and beat. Because at a certain point... Like, even if I did get immersed in the story, even if I did enjoy the game, the gameplay and all this other stuff, like, it got to a certain point for some of the games where I was just, like, completely frustrated and didn't want to play the game anymore, and it was, like, punishing me for playing, and it's just like, bro, like, I just want to get to the end of the story, I just want to see what happens, like, I might as well go watch a YouTube video, like, when I reached that point, then I was like, why did I even purchase this game? So, it stops me from purchasing the next game, like, I didn't, I didn't didn't buy dark souls 2 i didn't buy dark souls 3 i bought bloodborne because it came with my ps4 no 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 no. i it came with i think like horizon i bought like a bundle or something like that and it came with that and uh so that's how i was playing bloodborne and i think i played maybe like four hours of bloodborne before i was like ah. and then periodically like once a year i would go back and i would play a little bit more of it um it is entertaining to watch speed runs but I don't think the company makes money off of watching people speedrun. So if their goal is to sell more copies of this game, then it's like you're not you're not doing a very good job by not allowing an accessibility mode. Like, at least let me if I want to play like a little bitch baby, like let me. Cause that's that's gonna be the thing that gets me to buy the next game. Like, if your lore is so good, like people, says, like people say it is, and I'm seeing 10 out of 10s and all this other shit, and I'm like, how? Like, you can't even get through the fucking game. I'm sure this game is probably different, but, like, I, I don't... It. Yeah, I, I don't see... I've also seen a lot of people complaining that, like, how is it Horizon got, a, like, a 95 uh, overall rating, but this game got a 98, and it's the exact same thing as the last one? Where, like, nothing changed, like, no story, like, was really, like, captivating or anything like that. Horizon, for sure, I think is probably one of the few games I've played that's, I, like, a 98, I don't know about 99. that statement. 
Hey man, I was just seeing people talk about it. Different is. Uh, I mean, it's the exact. Uh, it's 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 almost the exact same game. It's a copy and paste of the uh, last one. The yeah, I don't. I don't know about that. I mean, it's it's the same formula. It's the same story delivery. It's the same everything. That's I, it. I still don't know about that. There's new gameplay elements. They're adding them all. They're putting them together. It's oh, the horse setting. The horse. There's yeah. New, there's new new aspects of the game. New story. New bosses. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Obviously, it's uh, it's better visually. Yeah, yeah. There's more collectibles. There's probably more shit to do. Probably. New weapons. Like, to say it's a copy and paste is a little, a little ridiculous, but... I mean, it's a bit of a reach, for, but for a game like this, where it's fundamentally, like, at its core, the same game as it was previously... I mean, you could say that for Horizon 2, right? Same core um, mechanics are there, so therefore it's the same shit, which, which yeah. is obviously wrong. Yeah... That's it's true, and that, that's kind of the like. that's kind of the point people were trying to make was like, how is it that this game is leagues and bounds better than the last version of this? Hey, Deacon, um, we heard you. Uh, I just wanted to get this point across. Um, how is it that this game is leagues and bounds better than the last one, but it's so very similar? Whereas Horizon, the first Horizon was, you know, ninety five plus. You know, like it was a very very high rated game. Like it was amazing, and this game is also amazing. But then, also, as a Ubisoft fan, I could say, well, I mean, we've had Ubisoft games that were, you know, Assassin's Creed games that were pretty close in the 90s, and then the next game was dog shit. So it's like, that argument is invalid across all the boards. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so it's like, that's what puts me on the fence about it. Like, I mean, I'm not buying this game until it's like 20 bucks, to be honest with you. But, uh, hey, man, I still got to play it. I got to get the shit right now. And not only that, there's like, from what I'm hearing, there's too much to do in this game. Like there's like Yo, that being a complaint is hilarious. I mean, when you're when you're an adult and you have like shit to do and you want to play other games. What the fuck do you mean by that, Jay? Well, okay, so check this out. <laughs> I go outside, right? I go outside. Oh, there's no wow. way if if I own this game, right? I'm never going to finish it because I constantly have stuff I have to do. I have to go to work. I have to do extracurricular activities. I have to start and run a business. Then I have, you know, I just be talking to multiple women at the same time. So I got to entertain them. So, I mean, it's, it's just, it's really hard to find the time specifically to play Elden Ring. Now, if I was into these type of games, I would make the time for it. Just like I did well, Scarlet yeah. Nexus, just like I did Tales of Arise, just like I did Disgaea, just like I did Persona. But uh, maybe I can't wrap my mind around it because it's a Soulsborne game. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Get, games being too long, that stopped me from playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. That t- stopped me from playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, that stopped me from playing... Uh, what was the other one? Origins I finished... Odyssey, I didn't. Valhalla, Valhalla being 118 hours. Yeah, nah, Ooh. dog. Yeah, nah. I definitely didn't finish that. There's no, and those are games that I like. Like I love that series, and there's no way I could fucking get through either of those games. So it's like, if you make games too long, like I'm gonna eventually have to stop playing them because it's gonna take me so long to finish them. And besides, if I bought Elden Ring, that shit's only got a month and a half because as soon as Forspoken comes out, I I stop. I'm gonna stop playing everything. Like, it doesn't matter what's out. So, you know, and I mean, that's... I, I don't know. I mean, With people wanting more content, I feel it's it's a little weird to be like, there's too much content. I mean, I get it if you don't... It's, that's not your style of game, but to say there's too much shit to do is like, what? Yeah, I was it's seeing... weird I, to I, me. I was seeing people talk about how, you know, the game introduces so many things... So many things that are unintroduced, which is another reason why I don't fuck with these type of games. Like, the Soulsborne games is because they don't explain certain things. They're, like, it's a hidden, like, Easter egg here and there to, like, find weapons and, like, all this other cool upgrade stuff. That's dope. I like it, but I also hate it at the same time because it's just like, yo, just give me a point-and-go objective so that way... But clearly, this is not a game... The Soulsborne games are not games that deliver for story. Or, like... They're they're not for story basically, like they're for they're the not gameplay. Like, no, they don't. They tell storytelling in a different way, and yeah. people don't like that. Yeah, that's what it's, it is. They tell a super, story, you just have to figure it out. Yeah, it's super fucking weird. Clearly, it's like to the a puzzle together. Yeah, to the average person, this is about this is about gameplay. It's clearly just hundred percent gameplay. Like, okay, ninety eight percent gameplay is what this is about, and then the two percent is like the story or whatever. 
Um, because when I play a Soulsborne game, the thing that I think of the most is how challenging it is, right? So clearly I'm playing this game for a challenge. I'm not playing this game for its story. <laughs> like, so... I mean, some people do. I mean, you know, if I'm playing this specific game for the story, like I said, I'm not really into it, so I'm just going to watch a YouTube video on it. I think I watched, like, a... Uh, Idiot's Guide to Dark Souls or something like that, and yeah, there's I, a couple of those yeah, I still good. couldn't understand what the fuck was going on. Like, I think I watched like a fucking two hour long video on Bloodborne, still couldn't tell you what the fucking game is about. <laughs> so that's a great game, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. It's fun. the The thing is, I get bored after like uh, I don't know a little bit of time. I mean, mm. I do like the monster variety in that game, so. Anyway, yeah. but uh, right now we're looking at people complaining about, uh, you know, not having black features in in this game. And I got to be honest, man, I'm not surprised. Uh, Japanese developer, they don't really care about black audiences like that. They don't really care about black representation like that. Why would we expect to see that in here? Uh, pretty sure none of the Soulsborne games that let you customize characters anyway um, had very good color sliders. They had They didn't have very good hair textures or anything like that most games don't that they had good color way. sliders because you had motherfuckers i seen a dude on twitter make a pink guy so the color sliders gotta be fire yeah uh, for this game or like for Hero this Brand. game it was the elder oh, yeah, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. For sure. and all of them have similar features like that yeah the one that i i found was an issue was bloodborne that that one kind of because it made my character either super dark or that nigga was hella light skin and there was like no in between and it was just kind of messy um, yeah. but I've noticed this, like a lot of games that are based specifically, uh, created in Japan or for Japanese audiences or anything like that, or the company is owned in Japan and the game is developed there. You're not going to get a lot of Negro customization options. It's not happening. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I doubt not, it. Yeah. It's not happening. Final fantasy 14 was also the very same, the same way when that came out. I think it's probably better now. I haven't played in a while. Um, but anytime I see Western games, like Bethesda game, Bethesda loves Negroes. Bethesda give you great. <laughs> Bethesda, as much as I hate those guys, they will give you Negro hairstyles if you ask for it. So if you're looking for it, ask. they're in there. What'd you say, Deacon? All you gotta do is ask. Yeah, all you gotta do is ask, man. They were like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You wanted niggas? Oh, we got you. How black you wanna be? <laughs> you wanna be Wesley Snipes black or you wanna be Steph Curry light? <laughs> what you wanna do? <laughs> I want to sink three because we get pulled over a lot. Hey, we got everything in here. So, I mean, this this just comes down to, you know, why why are games still doing this? I don't, I don't understand. But why are people upset and surprised by it is the real question. Um, I, one thing that kind of <laughs> – one thing that stood out to me in this specific Verge article was in this paragraph. I'm going to go ahead and read it verbatim. Elden Ring's hair omission is glaring with its own system. How is it that through the game, through the profiling number of sliders and color wheels, can create the proudest looking Negro nose with the Jackson 5 nostril having character? <laughs> that's <laughs> whoever that's walked the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> whoever walked the lands between, but I can't give her baby hairs to match. <laughs> Are we talking all five noses matched together? Yo, yo, yo. This article, like, I got it up on stream. Hold on, hold on. Let me pull it That's up real quick. Let me pull it up right here. I'm going to highlight it for you right it's here in the February. center. Hold Elden on. Ring's hair omission is glaring with its own system. How is it that I, <laughs> through the prolific, uh, through the profilic number of sliders and color wheels, can create the proudest looking Negro nose with Jackson 5 nostril having character? Whoever walked the lands between, but I can't give her pay baby hairs to match. That resonated with me because there's nothing like laying baby hairs with an afro. You know what I mean? Like, it's supposed to be curly. It's supposed to be a specific way. And so I kind of felt that. But I was also seeing people complain, you know, by people I mean the racist on the internet, uh, complain why Negroes even want to be represented in video games. Um, so... Yes. You know, it's just like if the game is good, why do you care what your character looks like and blah blah because blah blah blah? And it's like being able to connect with somebody on screen just adds to a depth. It really does. So, you know, if I was able to play Ghost of Tsushima and I could chain change, change out Jin, 
uh, what the fuck is that? His homeboy's last name. If I could change out Jin's character for Afro Samurai, I totally would. Ooh, that's a skin. That's a whole skin. <laughs> oh, man. I need to get this game on PC when it drops. I can't wait. I can't. PlayStation on PC has been a blessing. Holy shit, I can't wait for that mod. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it's just, it's, it's just very interesting. I, um, I don't know. And they reference Mass Effect as having a good, uh, character creation system in this article. And, you know, that kind of is the draw for a lot of character creations. It's like, what's the purpose if I can't make a character that looks like me? Exactly. Mm. So that's the whole purpose of it. Like when I, you don't see me putting in NBA 2K and just hitting start on the, my player, like not caring what he looks like. No, hell like, no. no like, I mean, it, you could actually in 2K, you could fucking put your face to the camera and it, It'll do its best It'll to represent you, but yeah. it <laughs> could give you something. All, come out looking all fucked up. Like, that's yeah, the whole I mean, purpose of uh, the character creation. Of, otherwise, you know, The Sims would not give a fuck. Like, The yeah. Sims actually, like, in Sims 3 compared to they Sims 4, pff, whoa, holy shit, leaps over buildings. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, so many whole, fucking you could just put out Create a Sim. That's a game in and of itself. Yeah, honestly. Like, one thing uh, I do really, really like about... When it comes to Skyrim, when it comes to Fallout, when it comes to literally any other RPG that lets you create a character at the beginning of the game, is being able to sit for two hours and craft a character and build this whole narrative around why they look a certain way or why they behave a certain way or anything like that. Otherwise, what's the point of putting decisions in video games either, right? Like, I'm just going to get to the end of the game. So I want to be able to customize the way I get to the end of the game. So, yeah, you know, it's just really weird, man. So, you know, you won't catch me. You won't catch me playing this game anytime soon. It's very unfortunate. I was considering playing it. I was considering buying it. But, you know, I knew something was wrong when I was seeing 10 out of 10s everywhere and people say how good the game was. I don't believe it. Yeah, this is uh, I, I, I thought it was weird because I was like, these people understand like this is a souls born game, right? Like. These games aren't that good. Like, they're good enough for what they do. And that's they got it. The fan base, yeah. yeah, that's it. I can understand the fan base saying, yeah, 10 out of 10, this is amazing. Okay, cool. But, like, just generic ass, like, reviews and shit like that from people who have never played a Souls game and they're like, yeah, this game is amazing. Like, either this game is the greatest game of all time or somebody's capping, bro. Something ain't white. Yeah, something ain't white. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I don't doubt that I'm going to enjoy the game, but I've been a big fan for a long time, and I understand that people are not going to fuck with this. Uh, you know uh, who I need to ask? In general. I need to send him a free copy of the game and give his, get his critique from it. I need to send it to Arrow. I need to oh. send it to good old Aaron H., who doesn't finish video games, who doesn't play any other video games. This is who I need to send this game to. No, Arrow's dick card is, is for like Street Fighter Six for the next two years. That's cool. That's why I need his critique because he doesn't play these type of games. He doesn't even fuck with other video games. So, you know, I need somebody who's like completely out of the sphere to like really give me a comprehensive review of this game. Like, mm. so, you know, everybody else is just kind of like, oh, you know, I- I'm expecting Soulsborne quality. That's it. So, then the rest of this, ar- I probably should have like read the rest of this article, but like it kind of, <laughs> they like, the, the important part. No, 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 no. I, I not only read the important part, but as I skim through this, I'm like seeing the different games that they reference. They reference Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077. They talk about Varl from uh, Horizon Forbidden West. Like, okay, I get it. And then as I skim further down, I see a sentence where highlighted, it says through Black Lives Matter posts. Like, what? And then so I kind of like read a little bit about it. And I'm just like, what does any of this have to do with the from so- like from software and the fact that they put the game out during February and it's like they acknowledge that it's Black History Month and the game was released. I'm like this game could have been released in fucking uh Anytime December, ever. bro. Like who fucking cares? Like Ugh. the time of release does not fucking matter. The time of release does matter when it comes to Horizon Forbidden West coming out 2 weeks ago. So if this was a game I would have been excited for, I mean I would have been shit out of luck. So. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, uh, personally, I think uh, there's not enough. I don't think there's any, actually, now that I think about it. There's no AAA studio that's owned by minorities. 
I don't think there's not one, right? Mm. Not that I can think of. Dream, triple A studio? First of all, there's only like eight. Yeah, eight main. Only, yeah, there's only a handful of them. So. Microsoft get their way. There's only going to be four left. That's fine. That's cool. All that shit going to end up on PC, bro. Let Microsoft buy up all that honestly. shit, bro. Let Microsoft buy Sony, bro. We are about to act up. <laughs> I, I, you can tell who only owns a PlayStation when Microsoft announced another acquisition. It's like, you guys will get a PC? What's up? Yeah, nah, man. Um, I feel like I'm in a very good... Oh, you know what, Deacon? Uh, today I made the decision, man. Uh, complete oh. side note. Today I made the decision to buy a Switch. Hey. I'm, oh no! Yeah, I'm definitely You're buying an idiot. one. No, no, no! I'll tell you why. I was watching Rogers Base play Pokemon Unite, and I was like, "Yo, I want League of Legends, but without the toxicity, <laughs> and I want to be able to play Pokemon." I bet it is. I bet it. I bet it is. But you know that I saw it, and I was like, "Yo, this might be the game that gets me to buy a Switch." I mean, I'm not gonna buy a brand new one, but you know. I was gonna say it's crazy that the free to play game got you to buy a Switch. I mean, it, yeah, it's You can play dope. on your mobile device. Yeah, you can. You can play, wait, you can play Pokemon Unite on your mobile device? Yeah, yeah of phone. course. Brad, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. I changed my mind. I was really about to buy a Switch for that game. Nah, don't. I was going yeah, to buy it for... I mean, my, my interest for the Switch has definitely diminished because, I mean, there was Xenoblade, there was Breath of the Wild that I can actually play legitimately now instead of uh, PC hack. Um, yeah, emulating it. Um, <laughs> then there was Disgaea 6, but Disgaea 6 got announced for PC and, and PlayStation 5, so I'm like, I don't need that. There's no Mega Man collection, there's no classic, um, uh, you can't play Banjo-Kazooie, you can't, uh, play any of, like, the old NSES games. I think you could play, like, some of them. I think they have, like, an arcade or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there, there's like I think a, they have something a part of uh, the online library. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, they don't, they currently don't have any games that I want to play, which would be like older Pokemon games. Of course, I have to emulate those or play Poke MMO. They'll um, since they're ending uh, support for the 3DS, they're gonna make some more money off. Oh man, I, just, I can't play. Currently, I can't play Kid Icarus. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, no. I can't play. Um, there's not really a whole lot of Nintendo games I want to play anyway, now that I think about it. Honestly. Yeah. So, you know, it just would have been a waste of a console buy now that the three games I actually am interested in, I could just play elsewhere. So. Hey. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have a Switch, but I only play Smash on it. So, And that's Smash only rarely. Pokemon. Is, oh, I haven't even finished Arceus yet. I do have quite a few people, people coming over lately, so I guess a Switch would be a little useful in that regard. But hey, not one of those droid counts got seventy dollars for another. Yeah, time. nah, no thanks. Um, I really don't like the fuddy duddy ass controller. I really don't fuck with the Joy Cons, bro. There's you that. Get, if you own a Switch, you own a Pro controller, unless you just like you hate yourself. I think the first uh, time I, own a I controller though. Yeah, nah, cause when I was at Heavenly's place, I was playing. Um, we were playing Smash, and I was like, oh shit, like there's like nine GameCube controllers here. First of all, I didn't know. That you could play with more than four people on yeah, Smash Bros. Eight. Now, I didn't. I didn't know that. I wasn't aware. Then um, Smash. <laughs> yeah, I, I had no fucking idea. So I was seeing like a thousand people on the screen, and I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" Oh, um, yeah, <laughs> where am I? I was fucking getting lost on the screen and shit. Um, so I I played with the little the itty bitty controllers. What are those called again? Uh, joy cons so the joy cons i was fucking with those i was like yo i'm a grown-ass man this thing is like not way too small way 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 too small bro like it's just disgusting how small it was and then the pro controller didn't feel right playing smash bros but as soon as they started bringing out the gamecube controllers i was like this is my element right here like (laughs) and i played um i think out of like 14 or 15 matches i only won once um because it was just all out brawl um of course there were like a couple of guys who were like you know the (laughs) my character's frame data those kind of guys um yeah 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 those kind of guys were there um and i only won once with banjo kazooie and that's all i wanted to do i feel like i really beat everybody's ass in the room once i it it announced me the winner um but you know, I was just playing Edge the whole time. So all I yeah. did was wait till the last like edging, yeah. yeah, I just waited till the last same thing I do in Apex. I just wait until <laughs> wait until the end and then I just clap who's left. <laughs> so you know, great time. 
But um, yeah, I don't I don't know what Nintendo could do to possibly get me to buy a Switch. But like I said, a Mega Man Battle Network collection or being able to play some of my if I could just like get a like from back in the day, man, like when we had N64 and they had like the cartridge thing that you could slap in the back of your controller and put a put a, a Game Boy Advance cartridge in there and you could play your Game Boy like color and advanced games and stuff on your on your console. Can I get yeah. that? Like if I get that if I got that for the Switch and I could just play fuck it. 3DS games, that would be dope. That would be dope. But, you know, how else would they how would they make their money back, I guess? Uh, off that of, might be coming since they're ending life for 3DS, yeah. Yeah. I don't you know, I don't think they're going to do that though. No, Something yeah, tells me not. instead of coming up with a peripheral device to allow you to play games that you already own, they're going to find a way to sell you games that you already own. Yeah, cause fuck so, you. Yeah, you know. No cap. That motherfucker's been buying us from since we made Hana Fuda cards. Fuck You've you. bought the same fucking video game for over 60 years with the same fucking character. Okay, he's a plumber with no real with no real experience. Show me his business license. Yeah, he's got he's got no actual job. Okay. At least at least Luigi is cleaning houses. Yeah. I don't know what the bro. fuck this other guy is doing. And he's a part time exorcist. And he's a bro. Ooh. Doing work for the church? Come on now. He, he's tennis and golf player too. Yeah, nah, that's nah, true. I don't know what the fuck Mario's doing. I guess fuck it. Uh, he's a tennis player. He's Mario's popping a tennis player. He's popping shrooms and sitting around doing nothing. Oh, as far they're as bringing I know. Mario Strikers back. I can't wait for that. Yeah, that's about to be fire. Is that the which game is that? That's the, the soccer, soccer one. Did they bring the tennis the one ball? back? Yeah. Yeah, they did. What about the uh, tennis one been out? The tennis Soccer's one been out. Come back yet. Oh, they got golf too. Don't forget about golf. Oh, yeah, they do got golf. What about basketball? They bring that back? That, it, he was on NBA Street Volume 3 on the GameCube. That's the right. That's right. <laughs> Did they do the uh, the Sonic collab yet? Mario versus Sonic anything yet? Olympic Games? Uh, yeah, for they the did Switch? a little while ago. All right, for sure, for sure. I just wanted to make sure they hit all the bases. That's all. So that's about it. Now we got to wait for the next console so they can release the same five games again. Yeah, so. Switch 2. Switch two, let's go, baby. Switch over. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. Switch over. Switch over. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, this is a uh, gaming's in a very weird place, man. I'm not happy with it. Yeah, I'm not happy with it at all. So I'm cool with it. About the same shit. I mean, I'm always gonna just complain about the same shit. So you know <sighs> not until forespoken comes out baby i'm so excited for that fucking game uh what about you guys Are you guys excited for anything this year uh no i'm not really yeah i'm waiting for saints row but i wouldn't say i'm excited for it i mm. was excited for elden ring but it's out so hey. Planks mm. year is over yeah, yeah it's already it. like there that's it i don't it's only february mm. i'm not even breathing anymore uh-huh yeah I pretty gotta... much it I gotta look into it. I don't think we're getting an Assassin's Creed game this year. I think we're getting a Splinter Cell announcement later, later this yeah, year. Yeah, that actually be dope. I, we need that. That's yeah, 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 it's not gonna be co-op though. That's that's the worst I, part. Yeah, it's not gonna be co-op. Why? People don't, people don't sit on couches anymore. Um, from what I was reading, the resurgence of Hitman becoming popular again is what prompted them to make the decision to make another Splinter Cell. So, Hitman's been popular though. That's what. Well, I mean, it's gotten even more popular than it already was. So, you know, with a the what was it? They have another trilogy out now. Yeah, seeing that kind of like emerge and that really convinced like a lot of Ubisoft executives to be like, oh, okay, you know, single player games are great. You know, that aren't Assassin's Creed. And, like, we could probably do something else here. Um, I'm just I mean, waiting. We need a co-op one, like a co-op campaign. I think we just need a, a new co-op game in general. Like, the last one I played was the prison one. Um, a Way Out. A Way Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the last one I played. I would have liked to play that uh, PS5 one that came out with the two divorced parents that turned into dolls. Um, I forgot what that's called. Yeah, I heard that game was amazing. Um, but, you know, I don't have a significant other, so it was just kind of like, all right, whatever. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. Uh... It was the, uh, what is it? It Takes Two? It Takes Two. That's the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would have liked to play that. Um, but yeah, we need more co-op games, man. We don't have enough. We have too much, like, online multiplayer bullshit. Like, let me get some couch play again. 
When can we get that coming back? Never. Un unless you get a Switch, I guess. That went away. Oh, God. That went away when uh, online internet was uh, readily available. So, blame Xbox 360 era. Gotcha. No, nah, blame uh, Comcast. <laughs> oh, Jesus no Christ. No cap. Yeah, no. My fucking internet was out for five hours today. Congratulations, man. Yeah, man. You're dealing almost, with adult problems. Almost robbed somebody. Hey, yo. What the fuck? Do what you gotta do, brother. Honestly. Yeah, when they call me in for a character witness, he would never do that, your honor. <laughs> Murder, maybe. But I don't... It wasn't premeditated. It, it wasn't... Hurt. Yeah, no. Definitely not. It was probably by accident. He was standing in the driveway and he said, Move! Involuntary uh, manslaughter. Yeah, the guy didn't move. Your Honor, if anything, he he deserves to get away with this for sure. So, can't you see him? He looks white. He look, he's <laughs> passing. God damn it! Yeah, you can Ignore definitely trust name. this guy. Ignore the name. So, oh man, that's that's pretty much it. I don't have nothing else for today. We could. It's a pretty good podcast. The only thing I really wanted to talk about was uh, some stuff that we're gonna talk about uh, on the Patreon episode. So, oh wow! You mean the Patreon that's very cheap, five dollars? Yeah, I actually and you have can a question. That. Yeah. Oh, um, Plank, would you mind changing the name? The uh, name of what? Uh, podcast? yeah, the uh, podcast. Uh, yeah, the Patreon. Uh, it's Canon Culture. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we change it to like Canon Uncut or something like that. Canon Uncut. uncut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I really, I really thought about it. Yes, it is uncut the... Uncut culture? Yeah, uncut oh. culture. Woo! Ew. That's not okay. Ew. That's not okay. <laughs> My bad. I didn't that's mean to drop not, that on you. Yeah, no, that's, a, that's not okay. Um, <laughs> you know the vibes? Oh, I don't know about that one, man. That's <laughs> fucking wild, man. Get me out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's fire. Um... You know what? Never mind now. I don't want to change. I don't want to change nothing, man. You sure you don't want to go with the uncut culture? <laughs> mm -mm, definitely not that one. Something, something tells me that's not going to hit in the focus group. It's not going to hit. Not the way I want it to. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be one specific demographic of people that are going, what the fuck? <laughs> I'll pay $5 for this. <laughs> so, anyway, if you guys want more uh, content, make sure to head over to the Patreon, patreon.com slash canon culture. Uh, it's only yes. how much, Plank? Five dollars. Five whole schmeckles, my You're boys. You're telling me I can go with a ten and come back with change? Yes, sir. You you definitely can. Um, there we're gonna post all of our you know uh, behind the scenes content, all of our shit talking content. We're dropping names. We're dropping the uncut. Uh, content. The uncut yeah, the uncut gems, my boy. The uncut content. The raw meats. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? All of it is gonna be dropped. That's the cutting room floor right there. Uh, even the stuff that doesn't make it to the podcast. Uh, you guys can go ahead and check that out. Make sure to also check all the links in the description. Deacon, thank you for joining for uh, the podcast today. Welcome back, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and I'm here for it. Yeah, you didn't even know it was a podcast today. I had no idea. Yeah, had no idea. Walked into people working. He said, oh. Let me just take a seat right here. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me go get my popcorn real quick. Yeah. <laughs> I'll participate if they ask me to. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, but until next time, guys, thank you guys so much for listening. Um, all of the people on podcast uh, on uh, all of the podcast platforms holy shit my fucking brain i had a few drinks before i started the podcast so i'm just kind of vibing right now all of the mm. people on spotify apple stitcher google um pretty much any platform podbean. That you guys are, podbean um or right here on the youtube channel thank you guys for watching and we will catch you on the next one